I see no glory bright, but yet I know that God is near in the darkness of the light. He watches ever by my side and hears my whispered my whispered prayer. The Father for His little child, both night and day, doth care. Tell us a little bit about yourself, where the band's name came from. Uh, we named it after an asylum which is based near us in Preston, back in the late 1950s or 1960s. Late 50s, there was some horrific abuse that took place there and the worst of which was on Ward 16. So we took that and made it a part of our concept. Tell us a little bit about the band's history. <laughs> I think we actually started in 2013, yeah. yeah, and then I'm probably the only member from 2013 because it took us a while to get together and we had a lot of lineup changes trying to get people on board with it. So we didn't release our first album until 2017, and that was written with Dr. Von Stottenstein and myself and a couple of other members. And then we played the Metal to the Masses, which we won and went to Bloodstock 2017. From there, you might want to take over at this point. My memory's gone. <laughs> yeah, I remember 2017 the and then a couple of band members couldn't put enough co the right amount of commitment in for us to keep pushing on. So they left, we got Wolfie joined, a couple of other people joined, we, and then it's all blown up from there, so we went on tour we around Doyle? Doyle from Misfits around the UK. Uh, and then COVID happened, we released an album during COVID and we were quite lucky with it. But yeah, so we've waited two years since we released the album to, to actually be able to tour it live. And then we came back, supported Cradle of Filth, played Bloodstock on the Sophie stage this time. And it's just been getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah we've, we've up the stage show now, we've got yes. two actors on board. <laughs> with jazz hands. <laughs> 15th drummer, bam bam. 15th drummer, <laughs> number 15. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not very, that many, but... Very spinal tap, they keep exploding, it's, <laughs> it's the whole thing. Do they? I mean, I, mean, I mean, they live long and happy lives, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Just so you are playing many kind of genres of the music. Yeah. Uh, what's on the second album, which came out in 2020? <laughs> well, it's a concept album. On the first album, we talk about Psychoberry, who's a serial killer, and how she manipulates a man into killing for her own twisted kind of entertainment. And on the second album, we go back to the beginning, find out why she became that way. So it's all the music's all tied to the concept. So we don't write in a we don't say we're gonna do this genre or this genre. It's whatever the story is, the music has to fit. And in that one, it's all about her metamorphosizing from innocence to this killer. So we've got quite a few different genres within it. I wouldn't yeah. even know how to. Yeah, and from that concept, it's a lot chirpier than it sounds. That sounds like this really sort of down, but the music's not just doom and gloom. There's a lot of there's a lot of enjoyment, a lot of bounce. There's a lot of ju just a position with uh, with the music. So the first album it was different because when we wrote it, we wrote the music separately to when we put the lyrics in. So the mood of it didn't necessarily match what the con the, the the context was. With the new album, we, we were able to match the, the music a little bit better and some of the, the songs sound a little bit happier. The music sounds happy, but the actual content and the, the words are quite sad, so we like to twist it a little bit, so it's, uh, you can't really, you can't really, what's the word? You, you don't know what to expect, or hopefully we don't know what to expect. 
was the happiest, saddest album you'll have ever heard. It's like a nice sort of like multi-layered thing where it's the first time you hear the songs, you think, oh, this is, you know, this is chirpy, this is bouncy, and they go into lyrics and go, hang on, there's something else <laughs> going on here. So it's that if somebody just hears them passing, they go, oh, that was quite enjoyable. As soon as you start digging deeper into it, you find there's a sort of a much darker sort of more twisted story going on. In this second album, you really get behind, like you, you understand why she's that way, so you get behind her being a killer and you're actually... You, Justify it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Go on, girl, Caleb. Yas, Queen, we support oh, this. Yeah. We stand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, that's all right then, Mormon. <laughs> that makes that makes it perfectly acceptable. It's fine. We get it now. <laughs> You are the main character. Can we know about the other characters too? Who they are? <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting because we still haven't established quite what Rico is. Uh, I'm uh, Rico Romero. Um, cover quite a lot of avenues here. It's probably some sort of figment of Psychoberry's brain, probably somewhere. There's all sorts going on with what Rico's up to. I'm all over the place. I, do, I, I'm a, I wear a lot of hats. <laughs> I think that's the best way of covering it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm mother. I am the reason why Psycho Berry is the way she is. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why we're the way we are She's as the, well. Yes. <laughs> She's the abusive I am the abusive alcoholic. <laughs> And the character you play is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Bam Bam Bedlam and I'm the drummer in the band. Um, and yeah, they say I have a very crazy backstory, which I'm sure will be revealed at some point soon. <laughs> and a very crazy front story too, so watch this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, I play yeah, Psycho yeah. Barry, the, the, the serial killer, which we've been talking about for yeah. the last five minutes. I'm Dr. Von Stoltenstein. I am not actually, I don't think my character's in the album. We're, we're, I'm just you a are, guitarist. You're, you're very naughty. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got, yeah. I'm about to find out what, my, what I've actually done and see my career go up in smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wolfie Huntsman, I'm the bass player, I'm just a general gentleman psycho. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> I'll open the door for you, but I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> The last album was in 2020. Um, is a new album coming soon? Yeah, once we once we finish this tour, we're going to start writing. Well, we've got a couple of demos, but we're going to start writing a new album because yeah. it has been a couple of years. So we'll be looking to do the third instalment of of the, the trilogy. So hopefully by this time next year, we'll be thinking about going to the studio to really, and then hopefully next late next year, we'll be releasing the third part of the trilogy. Hopefully. If you can afford it.
already had a few gigs on that tour, whereas you will be in yeah. the UK. We <laughs> played. We played, uh, played. We played Wigan, Sheffield, uh, Nottingham. Manchester, Nottingham, Coventry, and then we played last night. We played Norwich. And we play, obviously here tonight. Then tomorrow we go to Bristol. Then we are at Cardiff. Cardiff. And then Glasgow, Edinburgh, and then Glasgow, and then not Newcastle, Newcastle, Newcastle. And then that's it, really. And then our home gig at Halloween, Preston. And then that'll be it, really. We've got a couple of festival slots here and there, but they're, they're festival shots rather than anything about the album. <laughs> Hopefully, see you next time. Story in half an hour, so you're gonna have to come to the full one as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's like here's, here's sort of the the big beats, but if you want to know how they all link together, here's the tour. This is where everything links. This is where it all comes together like some sort of bizarre, twisted, psychopathic jigsaw. <laughs> okay, then see you on one of your tour dates. Thank you for the interview. Uh, thank you thank very you much. Buy your tickets now. We need a van. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!